I don't want you to have any regrets, Scott. Trust me, Dad. I do. Well, I better get going. I didn't even think of a log jam at the florist. Um, you need a ride home? Oh, that'd be great. Are you hungry? I can't do anything until I get my hair right. Honey, it always looks beautiful. <laughs> well, I want it straight and smooth. Oh, I would kill for your curly hair. Would you help me, please? Okay. I have to look sophisticated. I, I can't look like I'm a kid playing dress up. Oh, I remember wanting to go from 17 to 23 in a single bound. <laughs> yeah, and Phoebe told me stories. <laughs> Listen, don't you believe all those stories you hear? Yeah, you were, you were pretty wild. <laughs> I'm envious. It takes courage. No, it doesn't take courage, believe me. It just takes a lot of misplaced curiosity. Why misplaced? <sighs> oh, I guess because I was a little bit cynical, you know, about love. I thought it was a myth. That's why I think what you and Scott have is wonderful. You love each other very much, and you're you're mature, and you know you're you don't have attitudes, you don't have hang-ups about it. Look, Brooke, I I need to talk to you. It's important. Are you nervous? Oh, honey, if everything is going to be perfect, just like last year, it's going to be great. No, it's not going to be like last year. Not by a long shot. What is it, sweetheart? What's wrong? It's nothing bad. It's just really tough to talk about. Laura, you can tell me anything. You know that. I'll get it. <laughs> Let the machine pick no, it up. It's fine. Okay. Hello? Laura, it's Pierce. Pierce? Where are you? Not as far as you think. I thought you'd be out of there by now. Where's Scott? Well, he's, um, he's on his way. I'm still in my robe and slippers. Well, get ready then. And right, make sure you and Scott have the time of your lives, okay? Yeah, will you call again? I'll give Brooke all the details. Is she there? Brooke, um... Hold on, I'll check. He just wants to say hi. Uh, look, I'm really sorry I couldn't catch her. She had to go pick up Jamie at Tad's. Yeah. Look, you tell her that, um, I miss you guys. And I didn't want it to end like this. It was all so unexpected. I'm sorry. I know. All right. We are right back, Laura. Yeah. Tell me all about Amelia, okay? Yeah. Yeah, of course I will. Goodbye, darling. Are you okay? I, I just, I prayed he called and then he did and it, I just couldn't go through with it. It was just too soon. I, come on, we were interrupted. Oh, look, um, it can wait. I've got to go do something. Laura, there. no, now listen, I'm okay. I really am. This is important. No, what is more important than the prom? Look, I, look at me. Scott's going to freak out. I got to get ready. Hi there. I don't think your date is quite ready yet. Oh, it's okay. Very spiffy. Uh, it's a new tux I bought for college. I was actually elected to the activities committee. Ah, congratulations. Thank you. Um, w would you like a soda? Uh, no, thanks. I'm set. Yeah? Come on in. Hey, is this for my dad's gallery? Uh, actually... That was carved by a friend of Pierce's from, from Santa Fe. Laura told me about Pierce. It just doesn't make sense, really. Well, Pierce and Christina had to find their daughter, Amelia. Really, that's, that's the only thing that mattered. You look incredible. An earthquake is incredible. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Thanks. Picture time. Oh, shucks, Mom. Uh -huh. We have to. Yes, it's mandatory now. Just. Oh, wait. Here's it on the cushion. Oh, that's so beautiful, Scott. Oh, like you two oh, are, are so. Gorgeous. Oh, I'm not good. Look at in there, camera, and just give me a big smile. There. 
perfect now. Was that very painful? No, no of course not, it wasn't. No. All right, listen, you're going to be late. Yeah. So beautiful. Can, can I just have a minute? Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Okay. I'll be right there. I should have been mad at Pierce. I should have just told him to get lost. Honey, why? Well, aren't you mad at him? Laura, he did the only thing that he could do. Come on. Tonight is your night. And Scott is all yours. Yeah, but I want you to be happy, too. Oh, honey, I'm happy for you. Now, you know, moms can say that and mean that. Oh. I love you, Mom. <laughs> I love you, too, sweetie. Now you go. Mm. Have a wonderful time. Come on. Absolutely no moshing. Uh, I'm uh, you're the you. coolest. The Can't coolest. do that in this dress. <laughs> I know you'd prefer I'd get a limo. Oh, I know you're a good driver. So I'm not going to be drinking. Honest. Just in case you're worried. I appreciate it. Enjoy. You will. You will. Okay. Good night. Upstairs. Um, I don't want you to watch Space Warriors while you're eating. Safari World is on TV. Oh, 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 the Elven Show. I forgot. Oh, okay, listen, um, all right. I'll bring you a tray upstairs, okay? Okay. Uh, listen, thank you for bringing Jamie home. Uh, did Tad have to go back to WRCW? Uh, no, Jamie asked that I drive him here. Uh, change of pace, I guess. Jamie adores you. He's going to be just fine, you know. I hope so. I'm really sorry that things with Pierce didn't work out. Thanks. Yeah. Well, um, I guess I should go. Please tell Jamie I said goodbye. Gloria, listen, can I... I just wanted to tell you, um, you've been a wonderful influence on Jamie. Thank you. I think you and Tad being so much in love that, you know, your happiness is as rubbed off on him. Well, he's so much fun. You know, he makes me happy. He feels he can count on you. And that's, that's very important to him right now. Brooke, you've done such a great job with him. You're a wonderful mother, you know that? <sighs> I, I'll see you later. Okay, thanks again. No, no, they didn't need me. Is something wrong? Is it Scott and Laura? What? No, no, I, I'm just, just restless. Oh, come on, Stuart, you don't need to worry. Really, Scott is the most responsible kid I've ever met, with the exception of Laura. You're so calm. Well, you have to trust them. Well, I don't know, maybe I'm old-fashioned. But when I graduated from Pigeon Hollow High, we had a square dance. It was over at dusk. No exceptions. I mean, I mean not that I went. I, I, I didn't have a date. Oh, listen. They want to do adult things. They, they want to be adults. That's... Come, come on. Yeah, well, I, I know we're sleeping together and they're so young. No, no, they're, they're, they're sleeping. They're sleeping at the beach house. The whole gang is going afterwards to the, to the Cortland beach house. Brooke, Laura and Scott are going to the Sleepy Hollow Inn. Just the two of them. Brooke, I thought Laura had told you. Oh, she was trying to earlier. What happened? She wanted to talk. She said it was important and the phone rang and then... And she must have thought that it was, you know, she took that as a way out. She didn't tell you. No, it was Pierce. He called and she knew I was sort of upset. And so I guess she figured it just wasn't a good time. Well, it's not too late. The prom goes to midnight. Stuart, listen, they're 18 years old. They're, they're good kids. They're conscientious. They're intelligent. I love them both. 
I have to trust them. You, but how can you not worry? Well, because with she's daughter. with she's with Scott. I know she's with Scott. Laura is a very strong-willed, stubborn young woman. I. Oh boy. I have to trust that she's making the right decision for herself, and and I hope she is. And I hope that she tells me when she's ready, and I hope that that's soon. I. Well, uh, just don't say anything to Laura, okay, about my big mouth. Scott will kill me. No, no, I'll pretend like I don't know anything. I, you know, I, I want Laura to come to me. Yeah. Good, thanks. Now, I'm going to go on home, and, and, I mean, that's where I'll be in case you want to talk. All right, all right. All right, Stuart. 